Okay, so we have a standard square canvas here. It's 2048 by 2048 RGB and 300 DPI. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a mandala template. It makes making the mandalas a lot easier because you have something to go up against whenever you're doing your drawings. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the wrench, go to canvas, turn on drawing guide, edit the drawing guide, and we go to symmetry, and under options, we're doing radial and rotational. And then we can click done. I am using the monoline brush from the calligraphy and I have it set to just at the top of 1%. And we're going to draw a line from the center up to the top right and let it snap to shape and then we will say edit shape and I'm trying to zoom in, but the iPad thinks that I want to try to move the line, so it moves the line. We'll put this dot here in the very corner, and then we will zoom into the center, and we want to center the dot. Then we tap outside of the line, and we have our nice symmetry going here. Now when you select, let's duplicate this layer, when you do the selection and you have your snapping turned on with magnetics, then when you rotate, each rotation is 15 degrees. So we're going to rotate that 15 degrees. We can duplicate it, flip it that way. And now we've got two sides done. And we just need to take care of the short lines. We're going to zoom in. We'll merge these three layers together. And then I'm going to extend this line up, let it snap to a line, do an edit shape, and then get it centered just perfectly at both ends. And then tap outside. Then we'll do the same thing with this one. And I think that's good, but we're going to edit shape and check it. Yep, that's good. And because we have the rotational symmetry on, it does it for everywhere. Now we're going to go up a layer. And we're going to start making circles. So we will make a circle. And of course it snaps to an ellipse. Put your finger of the other hand on your canvas, and that snaps it to the perfect circle. And then you lift your stylus, and then you lift your finger, and we click on the arrow up here twice. First time gets rid of the edit shape, and the second time selects it. I've got the snapping on for magnetics, and snapping I've got the distance here set for 25, and what this does is it allows it to snap very quickly. You can see how it jumps up whenever it's only a distance of 25 away, and that perfectly centers the circle. Now we're going to go up a layer, and we're going to do that again. Make a circle. Finger down, stylus up, finger up, and 
center it. And I'm going to keep doing this. We'll merge layer three down. And we will keep doing this until we have circles going all the way out to the edge. Okay, so that gives us a nice little guide. I'm going to merge that down. I'm going to select. And I'm going to choose a light blue color and fill. And there you go. That's what you want for your template. We can make this into a nice stamp brush. And then every time we do a mandala will be able to use that. What I'm going to do now, let's turn the drawing assist off of there. We're going to turn it on a layer above. Let's choose black and let's make a mandala using this. First things first, we're going to create A nice circle. And if you can't get it right, just undo it. And do another one. Cute spiral there. We'll go up and then down to that one. And then we'll go up and then down that one and then I'm going to create some arcs here And I'm just trying different things, just for the heck of it.
Now to resize and rotate this circle, I am grabbing it by the line between the dots rather than grabbing the dots. If you grab the dots, then you're actually going to deform it into an ellipse. And if you've watched some of my previous videos, you will know that what I'm doing now is my favorite Zentangle pattern. I think I like it because it's made of straight lines, but it leaves the illusion of a curve. And I think we can turn off our background, our little guide layer. Let's put some ovals in here. If I were going to color this in, I would be putting these lines on a different layer. That way I could color in the individual big areas and have the line patterns as well. All right, there we are. We have a lovely mandala. I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial, and I hope you have a wonderful day.